Before we get started with this video, I'm gonna need you guys to take a look at this here. As you can see, 96% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. I, I could tell when y'all not sub, so I'm gonna need y'all to do, do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button. What it do, Dragon Ball crew? Welcome or welcome back if you're not new. So, today, I thought I'd bring y'all something different. I think it's only right that I let y'all know five things that we need for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm not gonna uh, list these in order of importance. I'm just gonna go. So, number one, the first thing I think we need in this game, and I'm sure literally every one of you guys agrees with me, is character customization. Now, by character customization, that could simply be just being able to change your outfit. I have my mods and I can I can do whatever, but you know, it, it would also be great for those of you who are not able to mod if you guys can have that option too. So, you know, I just think at this point in the game, we definitely need some type of, uh, some new outfits, some changeable outfits, because we shouldn't be stuck having to wear whatever we have on just because we're in a certain part of the game or a certain area, you know, on to the next. This thing here, this thing here, you see, you see this, this thing here, this, this wonderful area. But if you're still unsure or have no idea what, what this game could possibly use, which would be amazing, it is this right here, the World's Martial Arts Tournament. Now, why this is not a, a working part of the game, at least at this point, a year down the line, I cannot tell you when um, it was such an important part of, of, of Dragon Ball. I don't know. I just I just feel like this was something we should have 100 percent. No questions asked have gotten in this game. It just like it's, it's literally this place is literally a whole area. And I can only remember like once ever being here. I think it was for a main story mission where uh, I think we were like Goten and Trunks or Go Tanks or something, something like that in this area. And you didn't even get to play around with that character or these characters. You just walked around and did and, and did something. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Now for the next one. The next thing on the list is more playable characters. Now. Say man obviously is Gohan, but the reason I'm on this mission is because it's really it's really to show you that it's possible in this game because in this mission you get to free roam as Goten. So as I said, we need more playable characters. It doesn't make sense to me, honestly. I get this is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It, if it was gonna be Goku only, that'd be one thing, but the fact that we kind of get a little tease of what it feels like to play as other characters, like obviously there's Vegeta, Gohan, uh, Trunks, uh, you can play as Piccolo. Uh, maybe I might be forgetting someone, but for the most part, it's really just Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta. Point is, in this in this story mission, we get to roam around as Goten. That's about it, though. You don't get to do anything more than that. You can't even fly with him, which kind of sucks. But it shows that it's it's a possibility in this game. I just personally feel like this is having more playable characters. It would obviously give us way more to do, but it's just something I feel they were just they that we should have got honestly i don't know why they were too lazy to actually at least give us if they're not going to give us any content at least give just give us the option to play as more characters just because it would just make the game last so much longer in my opinion for my final what we need for this game and this is honestly a reach i'm not gonna lie to you you guys might feel differently true multiplayer now don't get me wrong i understand we got fighters we got xenoverse 2 you can't really reach too much because we already knew what it was but they gave us a the dragon ball card warriors which i'm not gonna lie to you i've never played i've i've heard a little bit about it and from what i've heard uh people say it's good and i'll probably try it in the future if you guys want me to try it i could do that for a video i feel like even if it was just a local multiplayer like split screen or like something simple 
I feel like you, it would just it would just be a great addition to this game. What else is there to do at that point? Like at least if there was multiplayer, we would be able to at least somewhat have some fun with this game after we've done everything and we're waiting on the next DLC to come out. That's just my opinion. These were things that I think would be a really good addition to this game. Now you might agree, you might feel differently. If you have any other suggestions that would make this game even better, please be sure to let me know in the comments. But I just wanted to, just to know how you guys feel. There is so much that this game has to offer that it has not yet given us and just knowing that i feel like i don't know i just feel a type of way not 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 that it, like it makes the game bad or anything but the game it's good but it could be it could be that much better that's what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna leave it at that don't drag me in the comments i mean if you want to drag me in the comments go ahead i i, I ain't really I, I i can handle constructive criticism and all types of feedback but I just wanted to, to know what y'all think and voice my own opinion and give you guys uh, a platform to, to voice yours in the comments below. So uh, I guess that's the end of this. It's something different. If you guys like these type of videos, please hit that like button if you're power level over 9,000. You don't want to go out sad like Yamcha. You don't want to be weak. You feel me? So just, just make sure you like it up and, and give me some feedback.